السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Uh, this is Saud. Uh, today, إن شاء الله, we will perform experiment six, the superposition theorem. Uh, first of all, superposition theorem states that at any given circuit that has multiple sources, the voltage and the current produced in the circuit is equal to the sum of uh, each voltage and current produced by <coughs> each source individually. So, what we're gonna do, first of all, we will implement the circuit as it is with two sources. This is the first source. And this is the second source here. Then we will measure the voltage and the current and record it here by using E1 and E2. Then we will shut E2, this one, and measure the circuit uh, with the impact of E1 only. Then, and record it here using E1 only. Then we will use E2, just, just E2, this one. And this one will be shorted, this one. And we will see the impact of uh, uh, E2 in the circuit. Then the last table, we will add and subtract the result uh, measured here. Finally, this table should be equal to this table because this table was measured uh, with the impact of E1 and E2. This one is adding and subtracting the result produced here. So, okay, what we're gonna do right now, we will uh, measure E1, uh, sorry, uh, V1 at uh, resistor 1 here, then V2 here, then V3 here. Uh, one uh, very important technique to measure your uh, the, vo the multimeter here the multimeter here has a positive and negative terminals always the positive terminal should be up and uh, left that means if you want to measure the voltage here the positive lead or the positive wire should be at the left and the negative should be at the right. If you want to measure the voltage here, the positive should be up and the negative should be down. In case if you are measuring the current, okay, for example, if the ammeter is here, that means the positive will be going to the supply and the negative will be going to the resistor. If you are measuring the current here, and you place the ammeter here that means the positive is going to the point that uh, connect those two resistors together and the negative should be going to the resistor but if you decide to measure the current at the negative terminal of the resistor the positive should be towards the R2 and the negative should be at this point okay so let's start. First of all, I will fill uh, this table by measuring the voltage. Uh, supply. This is E1, 15 volt, and this is E2, 10 volt. This is V1. So this is uh, E1 supply going from here to here and this is E2 going here from here to here okay now I want to measure the voltage at the resistor number one which is this one this one what I have to do the positive wire should be always at the left and the negative should be at the right So 18 voltage. 18. The voltage at resistor number two. Always. The positive wire is up. The negative is down. Minus 3.1. Look at the minus. 
what will happen if you swap uh, what will happen if you swap the wires and you put the negative terminal up the result, the result will come in a positive side so please make sure that uh, the positive wire is up always so the result is minus 3.1 minus 3.1 then the third resistor measure I measure the voltage here 6.8 6.8 now using only E1 that's mean this supply will be short circuit so what happened here I will just turn off the supply or make uh, a short like this but uh, turning off the supply will do the same thing like this so I'll turn off the supply and see the impact of uh, E1 only E1 or uh, V1 the voltage across resistor 1 12.1 positive sign positive 12.1 the E2 or the V2 the voltage across resistor 2 is plus 2.7 plus 2.7 the V3 always uh, the positive wire at the left uh, 2.3 plus plus 2.3 now I will uh, return E2 to the circuit and short E1 so this one this one is shorted right now and we are you, you only using E2 so this like if you short if you short E1 here and use uh, only E2 doesn't mean that this resistor will become R1 no R1 is still the same here at the very uh, at its place this is still R3 so R1 is here so plus 0.1 the voltage the voltage across the R1 is uh, plus 5.2 plus 5.2 the voltage across R2 is minus 5.7 minus 5.7 and the voltage across R3 is 4.4 4 voltage 4 voltage plus now I will add and subtract 12.1 plus 5.2 which is 17.2 which is nearly equal to 18 uh, 2.7 minus 5.7 is equal to minus 3 which is equivalent to this one or equal to this one uh, V3 uh, 4 plus 2.3 4 plus 2.3 is equal to 6.3 for positive which is equal to this one and uh, if you want to measure the current, you have to do the same. Thank you so much. Now we will do one example of measuring the current through R1 only. So first of all, we have to change the positive uh, wire from uh, the terminal that measure the uh, voltage and the resistance to here. Then change the button to DCI. Okay. Now, if you place your ammeter here, that's mean the positive terminal of the ammeter is going to the supply and the negative terminal is going to the resistor. So, what will happen? I will make an open circuit here, place the resistor anywhere okay then the positive terminal of the ammeter is going to the positive of the supply which is this one or if we trace the wire here the 
the negative terminal of the emitter is going to the resistor which is this one okay I'll leave it like this now by using E1 uh, E1 and E2 both of them are in the circuit the result will be 5.4 or 5.5 by using E1 and E2 now I will shut E2 and just use E1 so the result will be 3.6 which is here by using E1 only now E2 will be back in the circuit and E1 will be shorted the result will be 1.59 or 1.6 1.7 the previous uh, reading uh, just be noted that I maintain the same connection of the uh, circuit here I didn't cha change anything I just measure the current through R1 by using both supplies then by using E1 only then by using E2 only without, without changing anything these tables are the theoretical solution of the circuit and if we, if we want to compare it this is by using E1 the voltage that we got is 12.4, 2.59, 2.59 12, uh, this is the voltage and using E1 only 12.1, here 12.4 2.7, 2.3 we got here 2.59, 2.59 the current we got here is 3.6 and here is 3.7 thank you so much guys